Hello Cancer and welcome to my channel Lumen Moon Tarot. Hi everybody, I really really missed you. <laughs> it's only been a couple of days Rebecca. Yeah, I know. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, I'm here to do your collective love reading, okay? Um, I want to thank everyone who um, has subscribed to my channel. Um, and thank you for all your support, your likes, subscribes, um, your donations. Um, if you'd like to leave a donation, there's a link to follow at the bottom of the description box. Um, and if you haven't yet subscribed and you like this video, please click that like button and subscribe to the channel. We're a lot of fun. Why not? Um, this reading is for the collective. It's not going to resonate with everyone. <laughs> I can feel a lot of my um, subscribers, my peeps. I don't like to call you subscribers. I want to call you my people, you know, because um, really you're my tribe. You're my peeps, you know. Um, I can hear you guys like getting confused when I flip my intro because I know you have it memorized. <laughs> So I can feel you kind of like getting like, wait, what? Did we miss something? Um, yeah, I just flipped it. Uh, this reading is for the collective. It's not going to resonate with everyone. If it doesn't resonate with you, it's okay. Don't panic. Um, it's just because I didn't pick up on your specific energy. Um, and check out other readers on YouTube. There's, there's plenty of great ones. Um, so anyway, yeah. This channel's for adults only, too. I, I don't know if I said that or not. Um, okay, let's get started. Cancer, I love you guys. Um, yeah, this is weird. Uh, you know, we're going to pick this story apart, but right off the bat, um, guys, I feel very much like we've got a pregnancy here. Um, very much like we've got a pregnancy here. Either you're pregnant or your person got someone else pregnant. Somebody's, pre I think, is expecting. Um, but someone's very, very burdened. Uh, can't carry these burdens anymore. They want a brand new beginning. You know, they want a brand new beginning. Wow. They want to get out of this devil energy. Okay. Um... Yeah, they're, you know, this is the Six of Cups, so this is somebody from your past. Okay. Um, but yeah, they want to get out of this devil energy. You could be dealing with a Capricorn. Not necessarily, though. You could be there. I've got Capricorn out here. I've got Cancer, Gemini, Pisces, um, Virgo, Gemini. Uh, Aquarius, more water signs, uh, uh, water signs, especially Cancer, um, fire signs, air signs, air signs. Okay, so really it could be anybody. Okay, so somebody's very, very burdened, can't carry this anymore. Okay, this person, the, this is a completion card. This is at the, at the end of this situation now. Um, they just want their their brand new beginning and it looks like it's coming through for them soon they want to on they want to detach from this devil energy which is which is wonderful okay but there's a lot of inner turmoil here about you know something you know this is coming together a reunitement um a possible twin flame journey card but not necessarily this is wanting you know, party celebrations kind of kind of you know people coming together get togethers okay but I'm seeing two women here and I think I think this person is realizing that he's lost both people or is losing two people two women perhaps I take that how it resonates um, and he's having a lot of inner turmoil here this is just inner struggles, struggling with his emotions, his passions. Which one, you know, which one is going to win? You know, we've got a, a decision that is coming up for him. And I feel like that's part of it. He knows, this person knows they have to make a decision between these two people that they're passionate about, that they, that they want 
in their life, you know. Um, but he, this person needs to choose, you know. Yeah, and here there's you. Right underneath, Queen of Cups, the person from his past. This is, this is you, Cancer. This love, look at the way you look at your love. You're like, I know my worth. I know my value, right, Cancer? I know that I have the most, the, the most bestest love in, in the whole entire world, you know? But out of all the signs, you, your whole, the Queen of Cups, she is love. Her whole thing is about loving and being nurturing and being kind and being sweet and being patient, being giving, right? But this one here realizes that she needs to really think about who she's offering her cup of love to because it's like the most awesome kind of love there is. Yeah, maybe wanting to offer that cup of love to this person from your past, but I'm seeing that more that this is who he's having a lot of inner turmoil about who he's going to reunite with and all of a sudden here cancer you pop up and this is a person from the past yeah he may be on the defensive feeling defensive he may not be ready for a commitment or may want to defend a commitment perhaps he may be defending his stance with against other people's opinions you know, because he wants something stable. He wants something abundant. He wants something that's going to, that's built to last, okay? He wants that. He wants to work towards it. He wants to, this is a future, like it's the best ending ever, but that means, you know, since it's so abundant, this is like future generational kind of wealth, okay? happiness stability and he's like f it man i'm gonna stand my ground until you know and against all these people because this is what i want this right here the stability even though there's a doorway right behind him he could just run away but not this time not this time he's on the defensive he's going to defend this because it's a brand new beginning it could be it could be an abundant brand new beginning with somebody who's been waiting and underestimated but who's been growing her pentacles and is about to turn around and walk away because she's been waiting too long she wants to reap a harvest and if she has to go somewhere else and work on her own harvest she will a different harvest no problem you know which brings us to you cancer <laughs> right the high priestess this is how you're showing up in your own reading cancer bravo um, this is the most intuitive person in the deck um, cancer Gemini Pisces is what I feel here you hold the key. This is the keeper of the secrets also for the higher font. This person doesn't usually blabber anything. Okay? Nothing. She holds on to her knowledge and keeps it inside. And her and the divine deal with it. Or she just allows them to deal with it. Gives them the secrets and they dish out the karma or the dharma. However you want to take it. But this is you, Cancer, knowing exactly what's going on. Not communicating, but knowing. Okay? And what, what is it that you know? You know that somebody wants to change this thing around. This could also be you kind of manifesting, but you also know that there may be somebody who um, could be coming towards you wanting to manipulate the situation. But I feel like you just feel this is coming um, in the form of a message or a pleasant letter, perhaps. That's what this says, right? Um, yeah. Yep. Clarify this magician. 
clarify the magician for cancer I want to see if this is you manifesting or if it's your partner and I'm not going to be reading reversals anymore here um, the Emperor that's who this is somebody who wants to take charge of the situation somebody who wants to take control perhaps or control the situation um, somebody who you know this actually hmm. this could be you or your partner I feel like this is your energy though well no I feel like this is your partner's energy too I feel like you're both mirroring each other cancer because look and this card flips out yeah sorry my my mat is driving me crazy where was it we went through it this the person who waits this is the same card I think you're both waiting I think you and your person have both waited for this connection. Um, I think your person wants to take control of the situation, though I think the Emperor is, is your person's energy. Um, if it's not, and it's your energy, it's just wanting to take charge of the situation because you've waited too long, okay? Um, I see you taking charge in your own way, though, here, Cancer. I think your person wants to take charge and actually really control this thing and that's clarifying the magician wanting to change it okay wanting to change it and I think you're expecting that from your person God, what is going on with this mat I think you're expecting that from your person because you can feel it like I said the high priestess you can sense it that some kind of message or they may even be writing a letter which honestly letters are letters can be good and bad I guess but to be honest with you cancer I am seeing something else in this pleasant letter card okay this person has been waiting and they, they feel like they've been waiting for too long, enough of the wait, they want to take charge, you already can feel it. But if you look at this bench that she's sitting on, and I don't know, this is maybe just a personal thing, but look at how these two women are both looking down at what's on this person's lap. It's almost like she's got abundance here and it's really close to her belly. And this bench that she's sitting on, dude, dudes, cancer, I'm telling you, it kind of freaked me out because that is the crib for my son when, when I had my son. This looked exactly like his crib, except, you know, it was a crib and had more to it. Now it's a bench because they like sliced it in half, but that is my son's crib. It was like an antique crib. So it was beautiful, you know, really gorgeous wood spindles. Oh my gosh, what a gorgeous crib. But yeah, I feel like somebody is expecting. Um, I feel like you know, either your person may want to be getting you pregnant. Or they may be getting, they may have gotten somebody else pregnant here. I feel like, um, I feel like you're going to get word of this through some kind of message and you're going to have to heal from this or you could be dealing with an Aquarius. But this is a healing card. I think you need to heal from, from this information. And, you know, honestly, I think your person has to do a lot of healing too. Um, and here we have again a small child okay and hearing that you just that's it you but see the thing with this is cancer you already you already have been walking away you've been walking away from the situation for like uh months really preparing for this i think this is going to be like the final just just be aware I think you may get news that you're gonna have to move away not move away but you know walk away and 
heal from from this. Yeah, I think your look, your person's walking away from something too. This is somebody who's your who is from your past. They're feeling very melancholy. This is somebody um, that you guys had a brand new beginning in love with before, but something must have happened because your person's walking away, you're walking away, everybody's walking away in this because I really feel like somebody got somebody pregnant. I feel like somebody got somebody pregnant. I'm seeing as this person walks away, this feminine energy, she's strong. Look at how she's holding her shoulders. She's strong and she's confident. This person, however, this person's walking away kind of slouched over, kind of um, going, you know, making a climb up a little bit, try having to use, I feel like this is taking its toll on your person. much more than it is you cancer you've been prepping for this for a very long time I think you um, I also see this this as kind of like this kid sort of apologizing to you, to this person I think you have an, an apology letter coming in it's gonna be good but you may have you may find out information that your person may have gotten somebody else pregnant. But yeah, I see you walking away, Cancer. Clarify the small child. Clarify the small child card for me, please. See, it doesn't take me long to destroy things, you know? Yeah. I think you're going to be, you maybe end up having sleepless nights over this, or they are. I feel like, you know, I feel like Cancer, you are going to be victorious about this. I feel like you're in the public eye. Or somebody, oh no, that's what it is. Your person, I feel. The person who's having the small child. Whoever's having the baby. Whoever, like if it's... If it's your person who got somebody pregnant, they're feeling like this, right? Clarifying the small child. I feel like during the day when people are watching, they're they're trying to look victorious about all of this, okay? Um, when pe other people are watching, they're, they're like, yeah, I'm the stud, I'm the great guy. But at night, this is just, it's so much... For them to handle they can all they can't barely bear it <laughs> I can't talk tonight what the crap they can barely bear it cancer what no seriously though it's it's keeping them up at night all of these thoughts I think they're just they're really missing you they're very very nostalgic we've got two six of cups cards this is way too many cards to buy I'm sorry um, two six of cup cards and them staying they can't get any sleep they're having nightmares about it thinking about the patterns that they've gone through in relationships in the past perhaps getting a good hard look at that because who can ignore that comforter <laughs> i you know this is probably why they can't sleep actually is the ugly comforter but Act that just for me it stands for patterns they have to face the patterns they have to but this is kind of a pattern for them is be is pretending to be vic victorious and you know to please everybody else who's watching them and it makes them feel like they're the king shit you know um but at night they can't take it Oh, yeah, because it's all over this lover's situation. Did you see that? It's all about the lover's situation. This is the uh, Twin Flame Journey card. Perhaps you may be on a Twin Flame Journey. Yeah, this is about... Um, they can't stop thinking about what, what this is doing to you and your connection, you know. Let's move her, though. This is you, right? You and the High Priest is here. All right, clarify the small child one more time. What else can we get from that? So yeah, they're having a very difficult time, but I feel like 
You can sense it already, Cancer. You're the High Priestess. Yeah, lots of battles over this. Perhaps you guys, it may even start a fight when this when this information comes out. Clarify the Five of Wands. Thank you. Yeah, and it's just this. This is killing them. It's really killing them, Cancer. At least for this particular person that I'm reading for, this is this is going to end. This is somebody, this card really to me, is really, it stands for like taking a rest period, meditating on something. I see three swords here, so a possible third party situation. And uh, one reserve down here, one that they have to pick up to cut something out with, okay? Yeah. So a lot of cutting something out, I can see that with the two of swords here right underneath it. But I also see that this is just really killing them because what I really see here is a person laying on a slab. You know, I think if you guys do have an argument, harsh words could be said. Um, they, they're going to want to apologize for this. Um, you know, I always see this as an apology. You could be dealing with the Pisces. Yeah, they're going to want to apologize. But some someone is expecting expectation. You know, though, you're going to feel victorious. This is your energy, Cancer. You're going to feel victorious because any secrets, anything hidden is now going to come out. It's now going to be it's it's all going to be out and you're after you walk away, you're going to be like you know, and you're going to, because you're holding yourself in high regard, this brings you victory, okay? Because it brings you clarity. Um, it brings you clarity and a brand new beginning, all right? But yeah, I feel like someone is expecting expectation. So we've got like three expecting cards. All right, clarify this expectation card for me, please. You may be even expecting them to come in and offer a couple of here, though, too. This is the Knight of Cups coming in to offer some kind of emotion. Now, it is immature energy, and they don't normally have staying power, however. Yeah, <laughs> Yeah, you may be expecting this person because you know and you already know they're going to be communicating with you or they they're tired of the wait and want may want to take charge of the situation, right? And you know, something's coming out. I feel like there's a baby. It, um somebody got somebody pregnant. But any secrets, anything hidden that all comes out, you're going to feel very victorious, but you're still um, it's like you, you're expecting them to keep coming back in to try to get, um, this is, this is kind of like a, a flirt, you know, the King of Wands, he's, he's going to take action, but yeah, this is somebody, I just, I'm seeing this wand here. I think this is somebody who may want to, you know, come in and use the male phallic in order to be intimate and offer a couple love. I mean, this is kind of like love bombing here. Love bombing. You may expect that to be happening. Um, but they may... I don't think this person wants to lose you. Yeah, they don't want to lose you. They're like, please just let me just give you a small offer of stability, please. Can we just talk? Trying to... Um, trying to delay the wheel from turning, trying to delay um, a new beginning for you. They're getting a new beginning with the stork is bringing them a new beginning because he's been playing with this wand, right? I think he got someone else pregnant, expectation, small child, okay? And uh, now, now he's like, wait, can you can, please forgive me? Please forgive me. Please, you know, I want to apologize. I want to offer some love. Let me show you physically how much I love you. <laughs> Meanwhile, 
This is how he's slowing down your progress, or at least going to be attempting to. That's what I see, at least for this person that I'm reading for. Clarify expectation. Yeah. Right, but this is usually, though, somebody who wants to offer something stable. I think this person just wants to, they really want you to forgive them cancer they want you to forgive them I feel like they got themselves into quite the pickle <laughs> I feel like there's not a whole lot that they can do about it right now um, or they don't know what to do about about it right now but I know that they're nostalgic over you they have a lot of love for you okay the six of cups twice right they have a lot of love for you cancer but um, they they feel stuck, I feel like. They feel very stuck. Um, they feel stuck having to make a decision as well. I think, um, but they, they still want to come in and at least offer you something stable. And to me, it's like the beginning stages of a friendship, okay? Um, this is the slowest moving night in the deck, though. And sometimes they move so slowly that it's almost like they're not moving at all. Um, but this is the most reliable one. I think this person really is going to show up because this the Knight of Pentacles always makes it to their destination. They always do. They just take too long. And you could be dealing with an earth sign, an air sign. Um, yeah, I feel like this person does definitely want to take some action. Yeah, they, they're... They have love for you, Cancer, but this isn't a... Sorry about that. Okay. Um, yeah, with the King of Cups here, this isn't a person who wears that emotion and that love on their sleeve. They usually don't show it because, you know, they, they, they want to stay in this King, you know, attitude or whatever. But... The emotion, look at, the, it's just, they're filled with emotion. They're floating right on top of it. Holding that cup may want to offer that cup of love to you as a king. And that's seriously how they would have to probably approach you. Oh, this was in reverse, so I'm going to take it in reverse with them. Sorry, I'm just looking at the cards. Um, this is somebody who feels defensive, but right now they're going to try to drop their defenses in order to offer you this cup of love, is what I'm seeing. But you already have clarity, though, here. Clarify the Ace of Swords for me, please, for Cancer. I love you guys. I miss you guys. I'm trying to talk my daughter into going live with me this weekend. Yay. And I'm doing personals. Ugh. Um, at the end of the video, I'll uh, make an announcement and, and try to find my list. I have a very short list of people that have been um, wanting personals, but I need, well, I would like your um, person sign. At least yours and your person sign just helps me feel a little more, I don't know, like I'm targeting in, right? Narrowing in, right? So anyway, I'll make um, I'll make a, a list of names or whatever, and I'll tell you guys all about it. The clarity in the situation is that it's coming to an end. There's just no possible way. Um, you know, having a small child enter the situation is. What do you do? You end it, I guess. I mean, you know, that's your clarity. Clarity is coming in. It's something needs to be cut out, perhaps, too. The air needs to be cleared. Communication needs to be had. But I think in the communicating and clearing the air and all of this clarity, everyone's going to realize that this death has driven a wedge through this, through this um, relationship, you know. And it's too bad because here with the higher font here and the sun coming up, I'm just here, the, you know, that somebody got so close to touching, a, to touching real happiness <laughs> because here comes the sun. Someone got really close, like, look at, there's a cross on his hand and he's like, but they got so close 
just as the sun comes up, death comes in and squishes everything. That's what I'm seeing. And, and that's the clarity that you have. And it's just like, uh, you know. And, I, and that's the clarity your person has too. I think probably more than yours because of his thoughts. You know. Um, he needs to think about what decision to make. He, it's almost like he feels like he's still in this decision making time. But the truth of the matter is this falls directly under you already walking away, Cancer. Yeah, walking away, because what does love have to do with it? You know, what do you do in that situation, right? You do the right thing, and you, you have, you know your own worth and value, and you know that you can do better than, you know, being in the middle of something like this, right? But him? He's still thinking on it. He still feels like he needs to make some kind of decision here. Um, yeah, and he's sad about it too. Look at how sad this person is. Knowing that he turned his back on, on a soulmate connection here. He turned his back on a soulmate connection. That could have brought him happiness, focused on a third party situation, and look at where it's led him. And now he hangs his head in sorrow. Yeah. That's how I see that. And that falls under his thoughts. <laughs> or clarifies his thoughts. Is how he feels here. In, in, in regret and remorse and sadness and heartbreak. You know. Because I feel like he wants to balance the situation out. He wants to give to the situation, or this could be that he's giving to too many other people. Clarify, please, divine. Six of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles. I feel like that's what this person does, is just give to people. I feel like that's what, yeah. And maybe that's how your person feels too. That's all I do, is just shell out dough. That's all I do is just give people money. Yeah. And now, because he gave out all of his money, they may be in poverty. He may having a lot he may be having a lot of money issues, losing money. You know, because he decided to follow somebody who led him out in the cold, all battered, looking like he got hit by a freaking car. Um and he's still following this person out in the cold and um, they, could ha they could have really bad money issues right now and he could be having a lot of health issues right now I mean this is like to the point where this person may not even have electricity having a hard time paying the bills and all they can think about is their sadness you know, like I said, during the day, this person is um, acting all awesome and stuff, like like victorious and accomplished and everything, wanting people to see them uh, on a high horse, on a pedestal. But at night, they're falling apart. At night, this person is falling apart because all the time they feel like this, that, that regret, remorse, broken heart knowing what they missed, knowing what they turned their freaking back on. And now there may be a baby in the picture too as well. I mean, this person's, they're going through a lot, man. What else can you show us for this person? They're having this clarity. They know exactly what they turn their back on. That's part of, you. you have clarity as to how badly how bad this actually got with the with the pregnancy here right if this is you who's pregnant i don't really mean it like that i just mean like if they if they were already in a hole trapped in a situation they didn't want to be um and they went and got someone else pregnant they're even more trapped cancer 
if it's you that's pregnant I haven't read for you if it's you or not I I'm I can clarify it clarify the small child clarify the small child for cancer I, this person's holding on it's somebody who's holding on to your masculine or your person yeah they, they they're seeing this as a gift though this is this is a new beginning they want a new beginning they're holding on they may have even gotten pregnant intentionally in order to get this abundant new beginning because see here's this the, the pentacle here that's abundance that's that can be finances as well i think they wanted to to hang on to your masculine because of the money cuz this is somebody holding on who's pregnant clarify please and I, they may have trapped him. It could be you. This is a lover situation. Clarify, please, the lovers. The chariot. Cancer, you could be the one who's pregnant. I think it's going to be half of you are pregnant. Half of you, Cancers, are pregnant. And the other half, your person got someone else pregnant. This is too many cards, though. Yeah, somebody's under judgment, though, because they're walking away from you. Someone's under judgment because they're walking away from you, Cancer. I just couldn't take the cards because there's just too many. Clarify the lovers. And the Ace of Pentacles, please. Clarify the lovers and the Ace of Pentacles, please. You know, this person could have found another, like if this is a twin flame soulmate journey, they could have very well found and met another Divine Feminine. But I don't see this person as being... Um, so far they're showing me pretty much immature energy. I don't see them elevated enough. Yeah. Yeah, third party situation and clarity. I feel like I feel like your your person has more than they may even have more than two people. I I really feel like they may have three women here. One that wants to hold on to them for their money that he's actually giving. And another one that um, may be new in the picture once again and then you once again I feel like this is uh, more than two people and one is pregnant or it could be you pregnant but this is definitely a heartbreaking third-party situation or four-party situation <laughs> Um, yeah, and it's being made clear with this pregnancy. And it's being made clear through messages or a possible letter, a possible letter telling you you're going to get messages here regarding the situation. And here he is again. When they come in to offer you like just stable, like bring some stability to this, like at least an apology or they just want to talk they just want to talk man maybe get a friendship they just don't want to they need you to know they know it's going to hurt they're hurting too though the exact same way and i think that's what they want to tell you just so you know so there can be some kind of peace between you okay that's what i'm picking up on that my table is a mess all right, so you know what? I'm going to pull a few of these for your possible outcome, okay? Possible outcome for cancer. Uh, 
Yeah, so I want to go live this weekend sometime with my daughter and Alex as my manager. And then I want to do some personal reads here for you guys soon. Like, like a good amount of them. So I need to talk to you guys about that because... Anyway, um, yeah, this is your person here, Four of Cups. Sad, heartbroken, knowing they missed an opportunity at true love. There it is right there. They missed, and this is what's on their mind. It's right above them like a freaking light bulb. <laughs> right? Um, but yeah, the, that you're on their mind is this love that they have to make right, but yet at the same time they may have to let go. And it's like, no wonder your person is going through a lot of turmoil. You know what I mean? How do you do that? How do you do that, especially if they're approaching a high priestess? Yeah, I really feel like they love you. They miss you terribly. They know how bad this hurts because they feel it too. I feel like you guys are mirroring each other to a T, except for the fact that you may not have this drama in your immediate life, right? In your immediate surroundings, but... Yeah, this person's bombed. They're bombing bad. Hardcore. Okay, possible outcome is that they're going to be bombed out knowing that they missed an opportunity at greatness with you. You know? Looking at all these cups that are knocked over. What's the possible outcome for cancer? Eight of Pentacles. Cancer, I see you just like spending time with yourself. I see you growing your pentacles. I see you focusing on learning something new, actually, whether it's spiritual, um, something new in the spiritual realm, or if it's... Um, I don't know, maybe you're taking some classes in something art. I'm seeing something artistic here. Definitely something creative. You're creating something, but you're learning. You're studying a craft. Um, you're creating something for yourself. And it, it, it just... You're, you're putting your good energy, quiet energy, thoughtful energy, spiritual energy, victorious energy, beautiful energy into you and something that you're building and creating. Too many cards, though, for me to take. That's a possible outcome, but that's a great start to a possible outcome. <laughs> Yeah, you're you're going to boss up. You're going to be the empress. You're going to glow. Once again, being quiet and silent about this because this is a woman who um has every has all the attributes of every queen in the deck, right? Um and she knows her worth and she knows her value. She's very close to the, to the divine. She um she's very spiritual. She's very intuitive. Um She's extremely abundant. She's worked really hard for everything that she has. She's very, very, very independent. She doesn't need anybody, and she's not going to waste her time with anybody, and or on anybody, sorry. And I just, <coughs> I feel like with that learning card, <coughs> you are going to be just working on your own stuff. But being really happy and abundant and secure and financially secure and magical. you be magical, Cancer. <laughs> you are going to be magical. And really, but so you're going to be an empress and you're going to be happy, abundant and magical. And creating something new and, and wonderful for yourself and not really caring. Just putting it all into yourself and your person's going to feel like this and sad and depressed and heartbroken missing an opportunity a true love with you and out in the cold 
and hurting for cash because they're giving it all to everybody else. I see two people here begging. Remember when I said that this person probably had more than two people? Here's one they're giving to. Here's another one they're going to have to start giving to. And then there's you that walked away. Three people. That's what I'm seeing. And they only want the one that walked away. They're sad about the one that walked away. They want to communicate and offer love to the one that walked away. The high priestess. <laughs> Blimity blam, Cancer. You can't freaking tell me. The high priestess, you. This is the one that walked away is the only one they really want. The high priestess and you freaking know it cancer you know it not only that but in your possible outcome here um, you're going to be working on your spirituality you're going to be um, really just paying attention to your your soul and your spirit and talking to the divine and trying to live the best life you can you know you're going to be very very intuitive your intuition is totally lit um, and you don't need to say anything. You don't need to say boo. You're hot, you're attractive, sexy, you're smart, um, and you're the keeper of secrets. You're very, very knowledgeable. And you know all that they're going to feel already. You know you cannot be replaced. You cannot be replaced. Yeah, well, it doesn't matter how many women, doesn't matter what kind of mess they get themselves into, doesn't, the babies don't, you know, well, babies matter, but it doesn't matter who, who, who they get pregnant, what, ha they cannot get you off of their mind. Not with two Six of Cups nostalgia cards and not being able to sleep and all of this clarity and them being completely heartbroken and remorse cancer this person cannot get you off of their mind not only all of that but because they're also watching you they're stalking you this is my creepy McCreeperson we all know creepy <laughs> come on guys you recognize creepy McCreeperson He's watching you. Look at those beady, dark eyes. Look at that. He has something to say, too. But he's not saying it. He's just watching. He may, he may actually say something to you that could be cutting in the end here. Um, but that's not how I'm feeling about that card. I feel like you have a stalker because this person can't... This person feels like they can't fix it. It's dead. It was their happiness and they missed out on it. That's clear. Okay? But that doesn't mean that they can completely walk away. That means they're going to probably be even more obsessed. Because you're the one thing now that they can't have. You know? And so they really want to come in. Like I said, they want to communicate. They want to um, apologize, make this right. But you know what? Their apology, and they're excited to do it. Look at this fish jumping out of this cup. They may have a lot of excitement. It's going to cause a lot of emotion to you as well when they come in. They may, they may keep trying to communicate with you, Cancer. And you know this. These are gorgeous cards, man. This is um, the Wizard's Tarot. And I love this tarot deck. Yeah, I feel like this is their energy. This could be your energy as well, that if they don't, you know, the more they watch you and obsess over you and try to communicate and keep trying to apologize after all of this, it's almost like, you know, it's very hard to take. Especially when you've already walked away it's really hard to take because you know you can't really do anything about it but I feel like this is more their energy um, nine of swords again up at night can't sleep can't sleep at night they're laying on a bed of swords 
I'm telling you. They just lay there and think about this and cry. I feel like your person is crying. Five of Cups, we got that too. A lot of regret, a lot of remorse. And just crying. I feel like this person is going to be watching you, wanting to apologize, wanting to make it right. Can't stop watching you and thinking about you. You know about it, but you can also at the same time feel their sadness. So Cancer, just just as a helpful hint, um, Potato, um, since you are so intuitive, okay, you, you may feel this and it may make you cry as well. I think you're both going to be crying about this. I think, like I said, there's going to be a lot of healing to do, okay? This is healing, making wishes. Somebody may be making a wish for you, Cancer, wanting to balance out every all of this energy. Yeah, it's going to be hard here, I think, for this person. And I think the that, like, it's going to be like, um, I don't want to say residual energy. It's, they're going to be, you're going to be feeling it. Because they're going to be concentrating so heavily on you that their emotions are going to come across to you as well. And so just, just keep that in mind, at least for the next few days to a week, that um, or after you get this information, right? That a lot of the depression or any sadness you may be feeling, anything like that, that could be just you feeling it off of your person because they are, they're a mess. They're a mess. They're an absolute mess. Yeah, but that's what I got for you, Cancer. Look, I didn't even use the flash decks tonight. What a bummer. But you know what? I'm going to give you another reading this weekend and probably a live one. Um, yeah, Cancer, I miss you. I hope this resonated with you guys and really good luck with this. If it resonated with you, please click that like button. And if you haven't already subscribed, please go ahead and do so if you want to, okay? Um, and thank you for all your support, Cancers. I love you, man. <laughs> I love you. And I will see you in a couple of days. Peace out.